Hey guys, it is Mike from Baltimore Rides here. Friday, July 7th, 2017. It's about 7.30 p.m. Yes, the sun is still out and I'm wearing my shades. But um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. As you can see, or maybe you can see, I don't know if you can or not. Let me pan around. Uh, yes, I am in a new vehicle. That's what I was kind of uh, hoping to talk to you guys about. The Uber lease program came through. Um, I thought it was a great experience. Uh, there were some hiccups at the last minute, but just kind of normal stuff. Hiccups that happen when you go to dealerships. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. But my payment came in right where I needed it to be, $124 a week. And you guys are all thinking, holy God, oh my God, that's horrible. Um, but just do the math on this. A tank of gas in this Hyundai Sonata will last me 530 miles. Now that's what its average um, you know, miles, blah, 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 it's telling me. In the minivan, I was lucky if I was getting 340. So we're going to say a 40% savings in fuel efficiency. I don't know the exact math. I mean, I'm not that kind of a person. I can do those numbers in my brain. But 30 something to 40 something percent fuel savings. Now, here's where you get your noodle all twisted up. I was spending on average $180 a week filling up the, uh, the minivan and gas. So let's call it 40% of 180. What is that? $70, $65, something like that. You know, maybe more, maybe $80. I don't know. But it's easily half of that payment amount for this vehicle. So right then and there, now I'm really paying $50 out of pocket. Um, when you consider fuel expenses, you know, basically budgetary expenses that I already had to take into account. A um, couple little things that are different about a lease for tax purposes. I don't write off the payment because the depreciation has already been taken on the lease. So, and I'm not quite sure how that works. I have to talk to my tax guru on that. Um, I have a buddy that's a tax brain and I want to make sure that that's the right information because that's the information I've gotten from a couple sources. Um, but that's supposedly what I, what I hear. I don't know how that works. So if I'm making payments on a vehicle, I should be depreciating it as I make payments, but I don't know. I got to double check. Um, so, you know, just some food for thought, but I'm in a vehicle with amazing fuel efficiency. Yes. It's a little four door, um, all the same bells and whistles. I mean, advanced stereo system, just like the minivan had air conditioning, power windows, power seats, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, all that stuff is basically the same. It's more maneuverable, it's smaller, and it's ridiculously better fuel efficiency, which is the key driver for me. So we will, um, we're going to rock this thing for a while. And I did keep the minivan on my profile, so I can flip to it if ever I want to. Um, and maybe like graduation ceremonies, um, you know, like when Johns Hopkins graduated or Loyola or Towson, where I was getting large parties, that might be my go-to. If I get people requesting me and they say, hey, I'm going to the airport, it's three of us plus our luggage, probably going to use the minivan on those days, but it's easy. It's just a click of a button to flip between your vehicles. So at the end of the day, it's no real added expense other than having to inspect them each year. Um, and the minivan might not make inspection next year anyway, because it's got some sketchy things that I think are going wrong with it. So, you know, that may eliminate the minivan from the playground altogether. But I uh, just wanted to kind of keep you guys in the loop. Um, you know, it's 7.30, I have in probably about 30 bucks. Um, you know, if I can get to $50, $60 by nine, I would be happy. Um, that would put me in range to do $150 to $200 tonight. I would love to do that because I've had a couple soft nights this week and I would just love to put some crazy numbers up on the board um, and kind of, you know, get back into the groove. I'm gonna be driving all weekend. I am probably not going to take off until, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday next week. So, you know, that's going to give me a good three, four days to just grind and really rock things out. So I'm going to keep posting videos. I'm going to keep giving you guys updates. Um, 
My last video I posted was my public service announcement. You know, I do need subscribers. So please, if you are interested in what I'm talking about, like my videos, but mainly subscribe. It doesn't mean anything other than your phone sends you a notification when I post something. That's all subscribing really means. So doesn't hurt you in any way, doesn't cost you anything. Um, all it does is set you up for reminders when I post videos. And then for me, it's great because it gets me closer to that 100. Um, and that's the number I need. I think it's either 100 or 300. I don't remember now. I looked at it about a week ago um, where I can have a direct link to my channel. And that's really what I'm shooting for, guys. I would love to have a direct link. I'd love to be able to advertise it, you know, put it on my cards, do all the kinds of things that I should be doing with it, um, you know, to really drive people to the channel and the videos. So, you know, please, please, please like my videos if you do. Um, you know, comment if you've got comments. If you want to, you want me to talk about other things, or if I'm not talking about stuff that you're struggling with, put that in the comments. I would love to do that. Um, you know, any questions you have or anything, you know, definitely uh, reach out to me via the videos and uh, and subscribe, please. So I'm going to sign off here, and you guys have a great evening, and I'll touch base later.